Angelica Caranto from Four Love. My topic is all about polynomial function, linear function, quadratic function, and cubic function all belong to the class of functions called polynomial function. A polynomial function of a degree n is a function form of f of x equal to a n x to raise n plus a n minus 1 x to raise n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to raise n minus 2 so on and so forth to a 0. Where n is non negative integer and a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2, so on and so forth to the end of a 0 is a real number. a n is not an equal to 0. So let's proceed to the properties of polynomial function. First is the degree of f and n. The second one is the domain is a set of real numbers. And the last one is e0 is a leading coefficient. So we finish the properties of polynomial function. Let's proceed to the four types of polynomial function. The first one is the constant function. It's not like this. This is the constant function. The second one is not like this. This is called power function. The third one is not like this. It's, the, it's called of identity function. And the last one is the absolute function. So, we talked about the meaning, the properties, and the four types. So, I hope you understand our lesson for today. So, if you understand my lesson, I have an example here, two examples. Let's solve this problem. Number one is f of x is equal to 5x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6. This one sample is three, three terms. The highest term is 3. Therefore, the polynomial function is 3. And the second one example is j of x is equal to 4x squared plus 2x cubed minus x to the raised 4. The degree of j of x is 2, 3, and 0. Respectively, the degree of j of x is 4. That's all. I hope you understand my my lesson for today. Thank you. Bye bye. But I'm Maria Teresa Espoque from Fourth Year Section Now, and my topic is all about remainder children. <laughs> remainder children. If a polynomial t of x is divided by x minus c, where c is a real number, then the remainder is p of c. Now, let's try our example. Number one, x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed plus 8 squared plus 8x plus 16 divided by x plus 5. Divided by x to the fourth power by x, the answer is x cubed. x cubed times x is equal to x to the fourth power. x cubed times 5 is equal to 5x cubed. We all know in this example, change the sign into negative. So, x to the fourth power plus 5x cubed plus negative x to the fourth power minus 5x cubed is equal to 0. So, this is cancelled. Now, bring down x squared plus 8x. Divide x squared plus 8x to, to x plus 5. x squared divided by x is equal to x. x times x is equal to x squared. x times 5 is equal to 5x. Again, change this to negative sign. x squared plus 8x plus negative x squared plus min minus 5x is equal to 3x. Then,
10, bring down 15. 3x plus 15 divided by x plus 5. 3x divided by x is equal to 3. 3 times x is equal to 3x. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 3 plus 15 plus negative 3x minus 15 is equal to 0. And our remainder is 0.